Here I have Samsung Galaxy A3 and let me show you how to accomplish setting up this phone so how to activate this device as you can see let me start by using my welcome panel at first let's choose your desired language in my case it could be English for example from United States then let's tap start if you are ready you can bypass adding any Wi-Fi but let me add some Wi-Fi because it's always a good idea to have an internet connection so let me connect my device let's choose connect the phone is obtaining IP address, let's wait a couple of seconds and let me tap next. Here we have some terms and conditions, let's read the following agreement and let's tap next. Let's accept these terms and tap agree. Now you have to decide either you would like to copy your Google accounts, apps and data from one of your other device or let's just simply tap no thanks. So let me do it right that and let me choose no thanks in order to have a fresh start. Let's tap next. Here you can add a Google account. So let me do it, let me connect my device to my Google account. You can create a new one if you wish or you can bypass this step by choosing skip. Let me just input my email. Choose next. Now it's time to enter a password. Tap next. Let's accept terms of services and privacy policy. Here you can change some settings about Google services. You can automatically backup device data. You can use Google's location service to help apps determine your location. You can improve location accuracy and help improve your Android experience. Let me leave all of these features enabled and let me simply tap next. The phone is asking you to set up payment information, but you don't have to do it. You can choose no thanks and tap continue. Here you have some settings about date and time. If everything is correct, let's choose next. You can set up another email if you wish, or you can choose not now and do it later in settings. Now it's time when you can protect your phone by using pattern pin or password. Let me leave this feature for now, so let me just unclick the protection and tap skip. Choose skip anyway. As you can see, now you can restore your device from one of the following ones, or you can simply tap don't restore. Here you can create a Samsung account or log in into your old Samsung account or you can simply scroll down and choose skip to bypass the step. This is the weather that you can, can disable or enable, let me, let me leave it as it was in the default settings, let's tap next. The information about easy mode, let's choose next. My Nox information, tap finish. And that's it. As you can see, the home screen just pops up. So it simply means that the, that your phone is ready to use. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Leave thumbs up under the video.